It's Silverstone week, and here at Sky Sports F1, we like to bring you something a little different. We've tried hovercraft racing, lawnmower racing, but this year, we've decided to get a bit noisier and a lot faster. Welcome to the first ever Sky Sports F1, Brisker F1, Stock Car British Grand Prix. With this man, Ben Howard, number one mechanic, for this man, Robert Kubica, and these two gentlemen, George Russell and Martin Brundle, both hailing from Kingsland in Norfolk and trying to find out today who is the fastest man from the east of England. Welcome, gentlemen. Hello, Crofty. Hello. Ben, do we have any tips for our three proper racing drivers from the F1 world? I was contemplating, but seeing as though they are actually current Formula One drivers, I don't think they need any tips from me. Well, <laughs> I, I'm one exit. Yeah. So I'm they're not. getting, oh. they're going to get nothing from me. I think they know what they're doing. Robert, because you were born in Krakow, we've decided you have to be the pole man today. On pole. We're going to be pole on pole. Pole on pole. This one's. Wait for us. So they're going to be queuing up behind you, trying to take you off. Worried? Yeah. Well, it, it, it can be a contact sport, so the cars are pretty different to what we are used to, and uh, yeah, for sure, it will be good fun. And George and Martin, no pressure here, but one of you will emerge as the fastest F1 driver from Kings Lynn today. <laughs> You've got the pride of the town at your hands. It's the most pressure I've had all year, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you thought Monaco was tough. Exactly, this is what it's all about, hey? You know he used to race ovals once upon a time. Did you know? I did. I didn't know about this. Not, not with this kind of surface, but it doesn't matter. It's still on oval, isn't it? These cars, gentlemen, V8 engine, 750 brake horsepower, twice the weight of your Formula One car and a top speed of 80 miles an hour on this track. We've been asking for V8s back in Formula One for ages, <laughs> haven't we? would be good. Yeah. yeah. You get a three-place grid drop if you mention V8 in Formula One. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, they sound fantastic. But, you know, we did the hovercraft thing with mm. Jimmy and the lawnmower thing. That was two-dimensional. That was actually quite easy. These are tough to drive. I've not driven yet, so I'll uh, <laughs> soon find out. I've turned up and these guys have already been getting some practice in, so... Uh... Well, we need to get you on the track. Uh, you're going to start at the back because yep. you've raced and won in stock cars. Obviously, you're the man on pole. You two need to sort out second he's and third. He's a rally third. driver. He's, he's going to be in the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, it, it has very little with uh, rally. Really? But, uh, yeah, yeah. We've got rally tyres. Yeah, well, yeah, two. Two yeah, of them because they, you, have, you have two <laughs> different tyres on the... But the thing is, in rallying, you turn right and left. Today, yeah. it's just left. Yeah. Um, George... I've only just realised we've got different tyres on the left-hand side <laughs> to the right-hand side. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're yeah. a little bit behind the gaze here, George. Yeah, a little, bit, a little bit. Should have turned up earlier, George. Right, here we go. Toss for second and third. George, you call. Heads or tails? Is this for second or for third? Well, you I choose. call heads for second. Heads and Beautiful. Yes. Robert Kubica, George Russell, Martin Brundle, Ben Howard, we have our grid. Is it a rolling start or a standing start? Lights out and away we roll. <laughs> Rolling and we're going to go on the green flag. First gear or second gear? Rolling uh, this first. This is due uh, to your experience. <laughs> we're rolling. Uh, we're rolling first gear. Getting all competitive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gentlemen, do you want to get into the cars and have a practice? Let's yeah. do it. Let's do it. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. If we can get in. <laughs> You've had a practice now. How do you feel about the oval today? I mean, very different to uh, what I'm used to. And it was really good fun, to be honest, to sort of learning that the more you can get the car turned on the entry, the quicker it goes around the corner. So, um, yeah, we'll see how we get on in the race. Can you compare this to anything you've ever driven before? Probably once when I had a horrific setup on in the rain at some point and it was just sliding all over the show. I think this is the closest it got to that. Fancy your chances today? I think so. Martin was looking quick out there. I mean, I was, you know, half a lap behind him, wasn't really catching him. And I only had a few laps, so um, I've got to do it for Kinklin, haven't I? The word on the street is you're the rally expert. You're going to take this by a mile. Well, a rally expert is a big word, but yeah, I have done some rallies in the past, but this is nothing to do with rallying. Uh, it's quite different. So, yeah, it's uh, slippery, muddy, 
uh, but it would be fun. But beautiful, yes? Well, it would be enjoyable for sure, it would be funny, but uh, you know, it's always, uh, I think racing drivers, uh, uh, you tend to enjoy when you know you are doing well and you know uh, you deliver what, what uh, you would like to and uh, I think for us it will be more survival and trying to keep it uh, straight or uh, facing ro uh, good direction and not uh, wrong direction. You're up against your Williams teammate, your number one mechanic and a Grand Prix legend. High level, high level stuff. Yeah, yeah. which of those three do you want to beat the most? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> George Russell says he's doing this for Kings Lynn. Sounds like a challenge, Martin Brundle. It's always a challenge. We can't help but be competitive. Four days from now, I'm entitled to a free bus pass here in the UK when I turn 60. So I'm so pleased that I'm here having a race in some V8s with some fast drivers. What more could you ask for? Is this officially car number 55 in terms of Formula One cars you've driven? I think I'd struggle to count this in the official <laughs> Formula One list, to be honest. But it is a V8. F1 stock car and the track's pretty slick I must say so I've seen Robert loads today I mean he's really fast but he was always pointing in the wrong direction so I'm seriously hoping he's going to do the same in the race and, and has the oval experience of 44 years ago come flooding back into the memory yeah of course yeah <laughs> never lose it do you <laughs> just keep turning left see what happens smart money's on you Ben Howard today because you've done this before Are you are up for the challenge well I'm definitely up for the challenge it's uh, it's going to be hard work to be honest the guys have done the practice. I mean, Robert's looking seriously quick, but trying to get past him might be a problem because he likes to do a bit of zigzagging. So, um, yeah, it's not going to be easy. We've just had some rain. Uh, it's pretty slick and slippy, so it's going to be fun. Do you feel you're a marked man out there before because you are the stock car expert? Yes. I don't really want to be getting in, well, if I do get in the lead early, because I think there might be some bumper action. <laughs> so give us a clue here, because no one can hear you. Tactics for this race. I'm going to, mm, I'm going to try and stay on the back of them until about two or three laps to go, and then make the move. That's the plan, but it's stock car racing, so anything can happen. <laughs> so sunshine and showers. It's a typical British Grand Prix day. It's time for the Brisker F1 British Grand Prix, and away we go. Excellent start there by Robert Kubica. George Russell tucks in behind them. Martin Brundle and Ben Howard. 15 laps of this track. What can our F1 drivers do around the Brayfield Oval? Ben Howard waiting at the back there. Almost pushing Martin Brundle and still pushing Martin Brundle around that corner. Out in front, Robert Kubica. He's tried rallying before, and he's rallying the troops at the moment. Our first overtake of the race, and it's Ben Howard who's managed to get past Martin Brundle. The Williams mechanic absolutely flying. Great scrap out in front between the two Williams Formula One drivers. Kubica holds off Russell who moves down the inside. Oh, that is sneaky and superb by George Russell. Robert Kubica didn't see it coming. Russell out in front. And into the wall goes Ben Howard. He caught the slippery stuff. He couldn't stop shutting. He couldn't stop himself and into the barrier. Went our number one mechanic. He might need to do some repair jobs on that car when he gets back to the pits. Russell flies down the main street. Robert Kubica in second place. Then comes Ben Howard. And at the moment, Martin Brundle finding it slippery and wet and treacherous. The noise of the V8 engines echoing around Northamptonshire as our four guys give it absolutely everything in this magnificent stock car Grand Prix. 
Russell's gaining on Brundle. One man from Norfolk is about to land the other. Meanwhile, Ben Howard has gone past Robert Kavinsu, who gives him a shunt for his troubles. Kavinsu on the inside, fights back, wow! And out in the lead, George Russell. No need for a blue flag there, down the inside on Martin Brundle. Brundle's been lapped. Convinced us ahead of Howard. George Russell is a long way clear. And it's a spin. Robert Kubitz has lost it. He's been spinning in practice. He's giving it everything in the race and he's now pointing the wrong way as his Williams teammate moves round to lap him. Ben Howard on the slide nearly collects Robert Kubitz. This is not ending well for our man from Krakow. Kubitz out of the race. With the Williams team here to see him triumph today. George Russell rounds the final corner and wins the British Grand Prix for stock cars. Ben Howard, the number one mechanic, comes home in second place. Martin Brundle a lap down and our leader takes third. Robert Kubica after his spin in fourth place and in time, for donuts in the centre. This is how you celebrate victory. I don't know if this was from my little incident I had down here with Martin. I tried lunging him down the inside and caught him quite severely on the. <laughs> yeah. You help your elders. Huh? You help your elders out. <laughs> I think Martin is stuck in here. Congrats. Where did you end up? P3? Third, I think. P3. Who was that? Was that? I think Robert. Robert, what round again. <laughs> oh, man, I just kept taking too much speed in the corners in the beginning and just sliding. I hit the fence. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, I went way. right out of the fence all the way down there. As soon as you went wide around this corner, I yeah. lost so much grip. First yeah. time I, I passed Robert when he spun, you just slid right off. Yeah, I know. How much fun is that? Oh, incredible, eh? Incredible. Yeah. My car felt great. I don't know why. It looked really good, I must say. You came past and thought, right, come on, Martin, stay with him now, stay with him. And I just couldn't, you were flying. Yeah, it felt great. I don't know, I, I mean, yeah. Yeah. King's Lynn nature, I like. <laughs> hey, Robert. That's the sort of roads we're used to driving on, I oh, guess. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, well done. Yeah, thank you. So I think Robert's car's stopped now, isn't he? Making a treacherous walk back. <laughs> Uh, where was he behind you when, when he spun off? Uh, he was leading, I overtook him. Yeah. And then you can't see anything in your mirrors. No. Feels. Um, well done. Mega. Cheers. Mega. Mega. Well done. <laughs> awesome. Man, was that slippery or what? I mean, it's like the opposite to what it is in yeah. F1, where right? you go yeah. wide to find the grip. Yeah. I know, but you get out smiling though, don't you? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'd like to do that again. I'd like to do that again with the knowledge I've got now, yeah. actually. What well, happened? Just, ran out of talent yeah, or just yeah, always <laughs> ran out of talent no. <laughs> gentlemen what can i say what a race what amazing. a victor thank you crofty you are now officially the fastest man from king's lynn yeah. to oh, sit in an f1 done. car sorry, and a stop sorry, yeah, sorry 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 right. 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 don't, over. Over. don't <laughs> apologize you can never apologize <laughs> for success george russell <laughs> look you at were... this look at this i couldn't see any i was trying to take a tear off of halfway around <laughs> yeah it was a right mess you were miles clear what did you find that the others couldn't I don't know. Just the car was feeling great. I went out there. I need to. I need to get the setup for that after. Yeah, yeah, we might try that yeah. next week. Yeah. <laughs> you hit the barriers. I was trying a little bit too hard though. I think. Yeah. yeah. He hit the limit. me as well. He did hit you. Yeah. That was just I a love that. I hit yeah. Martin quite hard when I was lapping him down here. All right. All right. <laughs> don't rub it. In. But I thought that was game over because I felt like I got interlocked. Like a front bumper to rear. That's what I thought. I thought we were. Then I just nailed it and sort of untangled. Untangled ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. And Robert, take us through the spin. Yeah, I, I just lost it and then uh, the battery was down, but also gearbox couldn't get stuck, so no gear. 
It's mm. nice though when your number one mechanic just takes the no, time nice. out to push you my, back. My, yeah, no, it's nice when my number one mechanic hit me that uh, yeah. big time. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, he has whiplash, yeah. he can't do an X-ray. And damage the gearbox yeah. and that's the excuse we're now going to use, yeah? No. It's all his fault? No, no, never his Half fault. Half of it. A little bit. Well, you put it all together, didn't you? You got the day yeah. together, so thank you. It's been, it's been a lot I'm of fun. Glad you've yeah. all enjoyed it. Yeah. Do, 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 you, do you now want to swap an F1 car for a stock <laughs> car full time? No, but I think the, the fact is, when you do it for just pure enjoyment, it's just incredible. Obviously, when we're racing F1 cars, it's you know it's, it's your job, it's your serious, and you want to try and get everything out of it. But here, you just go in there. Have yeah. a laugh, yeah. mess about, and it's great fun. Can you imagine 25 people out there at the same oh, time, wow. all needing to win the race? Yeah. But if you said to we anyone... We complain about traffic in the morning. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> yeah. If you said to anyone from the stock car fraternity, you know, um, come to F1, it's a serious business, they'd say, no, that's the most enjoyable thing. So maybe we should all believe that motorsport is a, a fun thing to do and it's not really a proper job. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Awesome. Thank well you. done. Yeah, George Russell, much, Mr. Fast. <laughs> 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 <laughs>